I am going to be reviewing Chupacabra Survive the Night, a ga dice game for two to four players, ages eight and up, made by the Haywire Group. All right, let's see what we get inside here. Okay. Inside the box, you get a starter token, a reference sheet, which I'll explain, and a little card for the rules and how to play. Okay. Um, a round is pretty simple. Each player gets six dice. Two, three. And before I roll, I will show you the dice. All dice are the same. There's a pair of chupacabra eyes, a goat, an ox, two chickens, and one chicken. Now, whoever decides to be the first player gets the starter token and chooses first. Everybody rolls their dice at the same time. So, okay, on that one I couldn't even attack because I don't even have any eyes. So I am going to change that to here. You must roll at least one eye in order to attack and take anybody else's animals. Now I'll show you the reference sheet here. One chupacabra eye can kill up to two chickens. One chupacabra eye can kill up to one goat, and you need two chupacabra eyes to kill one ox. But there is a rule called safety in numbers. That means that you have to be able to wipe all their animals out. You cannot just take partial. For example, if somebody just rolled, say, let's all goats, all goats and oxen and rolled two chickens. Well my one eye can kill up to two chickens so if those are the only chickens they rolled I can take all of them. However in their group say they rolled three chickens I cannot just say I'm gonna take two of them. I have to be able to take them all. So that's why you want more dice rolled. You want to roll more eyes and get more animals and more dice in your dice pool. Now, after you say, uh, okay, I can't take their chickens and go through, but they only rolled one goat. I could take their goat. So you take whatever eye you're spending, claim your animal, and set it in a separate pile. Now, the next person goes through and can choose to attack whoever they want to with whatever eyes they roll, and the next player and next player. Once all rounds go through, then the starting token gets passed to the next person and everybody rolls again at the same time with whatever no eyes again with whatever dice uh, they may get so say I stole somebody else's dice I might have an extra dice in there so the game goes on until only one person has dice left now an option rule they have on here is what they call Chupacabra Loco. If you are down to just three or fewer dice and you roll all Chupacabra eyes, your Chupacabras are now Loco and you can choose to automatically kill the largest single pack of one animal type regardless of what kind and how large. That is an option rule. It kind of speeds up the game a little bit. You don't have to choose it. Uh, I've played some games with and so as you can guess this is not a pressure luck dice game this is more of a survival game I'm gonna take all your dice it's kinda of like war but with dice you can say I do like it it's a fairly light game the only thing I really don't like about it is the size of the box that this thing comes with if this game just came in a like a dice bag or a tube like zombie dice does that would be great because then it would be easy to take 
with you and you can play in lines at conventions or when you're waiting on something then you could just kind of pull it out of your backpack and play a couple of games but the size of this box I think is just uh, a little too big to carry around but I will give it credit this is how I did notice the game is because of the box and the eyes on the front so it's got that going for it I would probably check this out and play I don't know if this is a must buy now I like it my kids liked it when we first got it we played five or six games in a row they seem to enjoy it a lot and we've played it here and there since but it's not a everyday everyday game it's not a game that uh, gets to the table anymore so that's why I say I don't know if I would go out and buy it but if it's something that you're interested in or you just like the theme Chupacabra, I say check it out. Alright, thanks.